Already, we're halfway through series two. This is episode 15 of Creative Sweet TV, and I have got a very special guest coming up in just a moment. Now, I've got this is a live interview across the internet, so I'm just going to open up the Creative Sweet laptop. Here it is, here, and we'll see if we can tap into uh, log on and see if we can tap in and see what special guest we've got online. A bit of applause clapping in. Well, we're very lucky to have Jack Davis on the line here talking. Where are you, Jack, in San Diego? Down in beautiful Southern California, San Diego. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, for those of you who have been living under a rock for the last however long, Jack is the world-famous author of the Photoshop Wow book and now the series editor of the How to Wow with books. Jack, you've done all of these amazing things. I've just got one question for you. What was the surf like there this morning? It was good. It was nice. We had a nice little boat, the little southern hemi with a windswell and a little northern uh, swell coming in. Sunny, glassy, about two to three feet. Water temp about 64, 65, not a, not a problem. Well, thank you very much for making us all sick. That, uh, that does, just sounds fantastic. But, Jack, on a serious note, I've just been having a look at this uh, DVD of yours, the Best of Photoshop CS2 DVD. Have you got a copy there? I'll just, uh, no. I'll just hand mine over to you, okay? I'll, I'll just, if we can, through the miracles of modern technology, I'll just hand that over. Have you got it? It's coming through. There it is. <laughs> Beautiful work. That is the How to Wow uh, DVD available from softwarecinema.com. I'm going to put the uh, address. Software dash. Right. I'll put the address along the bottom here so the good people can um, can go along and have a look at that. Jack, thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us. It was wonderful to talk to you again, mate, and we'll speak to you soon. Look forward to it. Okay. Take care, mate. See you, Jack. See you, Jack. Thanks again. Oh, wasn't it great to have Jack Davis on Creative Sweet TV? Wonderful. That's his DVD there again. It's really a great buy. He goes through some fantastic stuff um, using the Adobe Bridge, using Camera Raw, uh, some great high dynamic range. So if you're into digital photography in a big way, then this is a must-have best of Photoshop CS2. There's bridge workflow, camera workflow, Really invaluable information on that DVD set there available from softwarecinema.com as we saw before. Don't forget we also have Creative Suite TV Series 1 available on DVD off my website as well. Now, I could not have uh, Jack Davis on my show without doing a Photoshop technique. And this is one I've come up with myself. I call it uh, CSI, New York, Miami, Florida, Australia, X-Files, Agent Mulder, and Scully Photoshop Interpolation Technique. I hope you enjoy it. (laughs) Don't get too scared. It's nothing too spooky. As a matter of fact, it's an awful lot of fun, this technique. I don't know how many times this has happened to me, but people send me files that are tiny, like this one I have on screen here. I'm just going to press Control or Apple Plus just to zoom in. It's basically a web-sized thumbnail picture that they say, please can you use this wonderful photograph of ours on the cover of the magazine or advertisement or whatever it is that you're doing. And you kind of have to go through that whole idea about explaining resolution. You know, that must be 300 DPI. It won't work. It's like talking to a brick wall sometimes. So I've got a wonderful technique for resing this up and you will not believe your eyes. Step number one, I'm just going to go straight to image size here. So that is image size under the image menu. We can see it right there. So let's just go ahead and click it. It will bring up the little image size dialog box and you can see we are really up against it. 
we have 53 pixels by 35 pixels and really that's all the information that we have to work with so what hope have we got well not a lot really however down the bottom here we have a resampling image option and in a nutshell this is what you should do if you're making an image smaller you should use bicubic sharper if you're making an image bigger you should use bicubic smoother Bicubic Smoother looks better if you're making an image larger. Bicubic Sharper makes an image look better if you're making it smaller or you're throwing away pixels. We're talking about when we're using the resample image option, which of course is either going to throw away or add in pixels depending on what you do. So let's set this to Bicubic Smoother and we'll have a little bit of a go at resing this up. So let's say take it up to 200 pixels per inch so that increases the file size quite a bit. Let's go ahead and hit OK. We'll wait a moment while this uh, does that. No trickery involved here, just a little bit of a trick. And all of a sudden, it looks quite a bit better. This is Luna Park in Melbourne. Let's go a little bit further. Image, image size. I can go ahead and type in 300 pixels per inch. We'll change this to Bicubic Smoother again. So it's Bicubic Smoother down the bottom. Let's really go for the doctor in this, this case. We'll make it, say, 10 centimetres wide, which is quite large. Press OK and we'll see what we get this time. Fingers crossed, everybody. And we'll zoom back out. And I bet you cannot believe your eyes. Is it trickery? Is it some kind of black magic? Well, kind of. I have played a bit of a trick on you because this is, in fact, a smart object layer. I have two smart object layers and to create these is super fun and terrific. All we really need to do is open up any old image. So if I just go to uh, File and Home, I'll show you how to, how to go ahead and do this uh, little trick on any one that you like to. So I'll just choose any old file here. Oh, what have I got there? Uh, this lightning bolt here. Oh, as a matter of fact, I'll choose this big wave. We'll open that up. You can play this trick on people at home. Double click the layer. Press OK. Go to the pop out menu on the layers palette and say group into new smart object. It embeds all of that information into the file. Then if we go to image size and scale it down, we can scale it back up again at any, so at any stage. Is it a really big file you say? Yes, in fact it is. So this tip completely useless unless you're playing tricks on somebody else. It can be useful if you're doing montages and all the rest of it. The idea of the smart object is not useless, but the trick is certainly a lot of fun. So, thanks for watching Creative Suite TV. This is Mike McHugh signing off. Smart Objects, CSI, X-Files, and